Originally from Wexford, now living in Kilkenny, Ray Shannon is an engineer who has specialised in sheet metal fabrication for the past 15 years. Ray believes he has come up with a product which offers a simple solution to an everyday problem faced by shoppers all over the world. Hello Dragons, my name's Ray Shannon and my business idea is Trollkey, the removable double-sided trolley token. Uh, shopping trolleys require a one euro coin or a two euro coin to unlock the lock on the shopping trolley. I've devised troll key which has a slot down the center and can unlock a shopping trolley simply by inserting into the shopping trolley, releasing the chain, rotating and removing troll key from the lock. This means there's no fiddling with a token on your keys, there's no looking for change for a shopping trolley. Troll key always stays on the keyring on your keys and you never take it off, so you never lose it. They sell for €4 Euro online or 3 for €10, Euro, including postage and packing. Today, Dragons, I'm looking for an investment of €10,000 for a 15% share of Troll key. Products that offer a simple solution to an everyday problem are a dream come true for an investor. There's plenty of interest in the Troll key from all the Dragons, but Barry O'Sullivan is first to get the questioning started. Hi Ray, I'm Barry. Hi Barry. So the idea of these systems that take the one or two euro coin is to force punters to bring the trolleys back so they don't get lost, right? Absolutely. You've come up with an ingenious idea, but the retailers are going to hate it. Retailers, I wouldn't say hate it, but originally, yes, it was to lock trolleys together so they couldn't take them home. But if you look at the trolleys, now they've developed a wheel lock on the trolleys themselves. So once you take the trolley out of a certain area within the car park or the supermarket, the wheels of the trolley actually lock up to stop you wheeling the trolley. Is this a brilliant idea? Or is it something that's not just disruptive, could be destructive? Because it's not just returning the trolley and incentivizing customers to return their trolley. It is when you have a lot of loose trolleys in car parks, you have people reversing into them, making a claim then against the supermarket. Um, you are going to be Ireland's most wanted as regards the supermarket chain operators. They're not going to like you. The supermarkets may not, but the consumer will. <laughs> if Ray can make money from his invention, he'll be unlikely to lose too much sleep over his lack of popularity. Peter wants to know how he'll make that money. So how are you going to monetize it? Well, I think every consumer needs one of these. Right, so you're going to sell it to consumers? Or so I'm or going to sell them? online. I'm going to sell them direct as well. But I'm also hoping to go to a retailer like the garages or the forecourts or the petrol stations would be an ideal uh, match for it and uh, approach them or any independent retailer. I don't know where to start, Ray. <laughs> I'm Eamon. Hi, Eamon. Uh, my first job was collecting trolleys at the age of 10. You, so you know more about you, it you than I do. You so. have a, a deep knowledge of this area. <laughs> um, look, you know, I, I can remember when trolleys were literally all over the car park and these systems were put, were, were put in with resistance. In fact, some people, you know, didn't like the idea of, of having to, to bring back their carts. But, you know, as insurance costs went in, car damage claims were huge. Once the trolley locking system came in, people started putting their trolleys uh, back in the bay. Your business model depends on you um, fighting the whole reason for, for, for supermarkets put, putting this in. So I, I, I'd be completely surprised if any supermarket would back you in this. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're trying to get a business not working with the retailer. I, I think you're going to have a huge, huge problem. I might be out for a war. <laughs> right, have you considered going to the supermarkets and saying you won't introduce this if they give you some money? <laughs> yeah. That's another, another yeah. avenue. I mean, if this doesn't work, I can, I can try that way and say I'll forget about it. And... I have no further questions, Your Honour. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Eamon. Ray has come up with a clever device which he says solves a problem faced by thousands of shoppers. But Ramona Nicholas clearly is not one of them. I've never, I suppose, encountered the problem, okay. you know. And even in... You need the... to go shopping. Hmm? You need to go shopping. A what? bit more <laughs> to experience the problem. Because even with the trolley tokens, <laughs> you have to try and get it off a little clip to put it in. Same thing as having a coin clip it back on. It's not ideal for, especially older people, find a problem getting it on and off, whereas this, you don't have to take it off. So you're telling me to go shopping more? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> this is a destructive offer, but it's one consumers are going to love. You are a genius. 
I wouldn't How many that people, but but that's hundreds of thousands of people <laughs> have gone into supermarkets <laughs> and have tried to do this and you've cracked it. You're a genius. So I'm going to make you an offer. Now it's a slightly unusual offer. I'm going to offer you the 10,000 euro you asked for, um, for 20%. But that 20% equity will be held by five years, but the proceeds that that 20% makes will go to a charity, the charity of my choice, which is, of course, St. Vincent de Paul. So that's my offer, because I think a genius like you deserves to be backed. Thanks, Gavin. What happens after five years? After five, five years? Uh, the trial Ray will be in changed. jail. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I will uh, be maintaining his wife and children. Uh, <laughs> Is that a promise? <laughs> so Ray has an offer. It may be an unusual offer, but it's an offer just the same. The question is, will any of the other dragons try to better it? Ray, you're a trolley hacker. <laughs> you know, in the software industry, the, the hackers are always trying to stay ahead of the security software companies, and I think that's what you're going to end up doing. You're going to have to stay one step ahead of them all the time, but I'm, I'm sure you can do it. Uh, I really admire what you've done, and uh, take my hat off to you. I'll be using Trial Key, but I'm out. Thank you. Ray, I think, I think you probably know where I'm coming from. I think you've got a great offer from Gavin. Uh, I encourage you to, to take that, and uh, I'm out. Eamon, thanks very much. I completely agree with Gavin. I think this is ingenious, and I love disruptive technologies. Uh, I will match Gavin's offer to the, in, in terms of the equity going to the charity. I'll give you a little bit of extra money. I will add on an extra 5,000 just to sweeten the deal a little bit. Okay, thank you, Peter. I possibly may have made an offer. I think that what, to, what Gavin has done and Peter has copied, okay, I think that you know, Gavin made a really good offer, and, um, so I'm going to declare myself out. Thanks very much, Ron. So you have two offers now. You can think about it if you wish. OK, thanks. So Gavin Duffy finds himself in a two-horse race with Peter Casey. Gavin got in first, but Peter added an extra €5,000. Ray doesn't have very long to make what is a hugely important decision. OK, Gavin, Peter. Um, Thanks for the offers. Gavin, would you be interested in increasing your equity or your uh, investment to match Peter's? Uh, no. Uh, you, you came in looking for 10. I did. Uh, I was happy to back you when people weren't backing you, as you know. <laughs> so, uh, no, I think if you needed more, you would have said it. You, you know, it's not like the, the, you know, having 15 isn't going to speed it up. Um, okay. So it's make your mind up time, Ray. Absolutely. OK. Um, Peter? Thanks very much for your offer, but I'm going to go with Gavin because he offered first. <laughs> Sorry. So Gavin wins out and Ray gets access to both his investment and expertise. While across the country, supermarket owners strike Mr. Duffy's name off their Christmas card list. Well done, Gavin. That was actually... Well done, Gavin. That was a very smart idea. My friend tries to rob that from me at, at the last yeah. moment. What, what are you? Oh, like? What are you? Well done, Ray. I've seen a lot of nervous people in the den over the years, but you looked like you enjoyed that from start to finish. Uh, thanks, Richard. Maybe it, it looked like I enjoyed it, but inside I was as nervous as anybody else. Um, but the outcome was good. You got a great result, a great investment, and hopefully a lot of money going to a very good charity. Absolutely. That, that surprised me from the onset that uh, Gavin was willing to offer the, the uh, investment, but not look for any equity himself. Um, which was a, a pleasant surprise and kind of led me towards him in the end anyway. That's what made it for me. Well, anyone who says you're off your trolley, you got a great investment, they've got it wrong. Well done. Richard, thank you very much. Congratulations.